안녕하십니까 캐틀린 스티븐스입니다. 먼저 늦었지만 민주평통 20기 출범을 주가합니다. 그리고 오늘 이렇게 의미 있는 행사에 축사를 하게 되어서 영광입니다. Chairman Kang, President of the j a s o n Memorial Foundation, c h e Jung Soo, Professor Hope Elizabeth May, esteemed members of the Washington chapter of the Peaceful Unification Advisory Council, and of our Korean American organizations represented here today. This celebration of the March 1st movement and the struggle for independence recognizes not only a watershed moment in Korean national identity, it also commemorates the relentless resolve and resilient unity of the Korean people in shaping their own destiny. In a remarkable testament to the breadth of popular resolve amidst the depths of national despair, An Chang Ho, So j a e p i l Kim Nan Sa, and countless other Korean immigrants, exiles, and expatriates in the United States and beyond joined hand in hand to reject imperialism and demand Korean liberation. I witnessed some of this remarkable journey, not all the way back to the March 1st movement, but beginning for me in the 1970s in rural Korea as a Peace Corps volunteer, then in the streets of Seoul and other cities during the struggle for democracy in the 1980s, and later returning to Korea as ambassador in the 2000 aughts, and now in Washington uh, looking at the ever-blossoming U.S.-Korean relationship. I have seen time and again firsthand the common thread of activism and mobilization that has linked the Korean people in the decisive moments of their history. Over a century of time, the spirit of March 1st has lived on. The Korean people have taken up the burden of progress in democratization, in becoming global leaders of technology and entertainment, and in becoming contributing valued members of civil society in, in Korea, in the United States, and globally. The great unfinished business on the Korean Peninsula is, of course, its peaceful reunification. No undertaking is more daunting, more difficult, yet more necessary. And no group is more important in contributing to this task than those represented here today and those Koreans around the world as well as in Korea itself. My optimism for and confidence in the Korean people as the masters of their destiny has not wavered. Therefore, I celebrate with you an incarnation of that long, unbreakable thread of civic conviction that has informed Korean history since the March 1st movement. I'm sorry I'm not there in person to listen to the lectures today and to learn more with you about An Chang Ho, So j a e p i l and especially Kim Nan Sa, who I understand was known for advocacy for women's empowerment through education. and was the first Korean woman studying abroad at Ohio Wesleyan University and earning a bachelor's degree. How many more have followed? I look forward to a chance to hear about the lectures and discussions held today. Here at KEI, uh, we've been engaged with your chapter leadership here in Washington, including Secretary Ms. Kim Yoo-soo. We are encouraged by your achievements and we hope we can further strengthen our cooperation. 다시 한번 초대해 주셔서 감사드리고 3.1 운동 기념 강연 개최를 축하합니다. 감사합니다.